Oh, good morning, folks. Just what I need. Nice little espresso. Mmm. Those Morrison's coffee beans are oh, spot on. Anyway, this morning we've mashed in. We've pretty much got all the tanks clean, ready to go. And I'm just about to start the transfer. I'm voloffing at the moment. Voloffing. <laughs> it's a funny word, that, isn't it? So let's zip you off the tripod and. Wow, bit of a close up there. We'll go and have a look what we've done. So here is the acid I've retained from this morning's plate heat exchange sanitation. We'll use that to go into, into the boil kettle uh, to clean the boil kettle out later on. Just made me think that I need to put some water in the HLT. So, uh, the caustic that's in the fermenter is going to go into FV3, which will that'll clean that one for us. And then we're going to rinse this with some cold water out of the IBC, and then go ahead and put that persid in there to sanitise this. While I've been waiting for the mash to finish this morning, I pressed on with completing the cone insulation. As you can see, it does look like we're off to Button Moon to visit Mr. Spoon. But this will be ideal for keeping the temperatures in that cone spot on and helping the whole tank chill evenly. Very important if we want to start harvesting yeast out of these little beauties. I also managed to put the wheels back on. I found a technique to speed it up quite a bit actually. I got one of these half inch socket adapters for the drill and that worked an absolute treat so that was a quick and easy job and uh, at some point today probably during the uh, transfer or the boil I'm going to fit the rest of these coils to the rest of these fermenters and get the pipe work something close the only drawback is I'm still waiting for some of these boxes to arrive and uh, I'll still be waiting for maybe one of these valves and a few other bits but I'm not pressed to get this done I know for a fact I've got at least a couple of weeks or a week let's say before I want to do anything fancy pants on here and we've got to fit the new pipe work you know the brand new hose that we've got this was all the hose from my homebrew kit at home you see that's why some of it's discoloured anyway that's by the by. So I'm just going to make sure that we get this transfer completed uh, in an orderly fashion and we hit the numbers and then we'll pick the camera up again and have another recap. So today's side project is going to be some housing for the STCs for the pilot kit fermenters. So just a moment ago I mentioned that we're waiting for the boxes to arrive turns out I didn't order them, I just double checked as soon as I said it I thought oh I ordered the STCs and everything else don't think I ordered the boxes so I thought well I know what I've got a enclosure here there it is from a set of scales that I accidentally blew up and it's this nice stainless steel enclosure so I thought well let's take this bad boy to pieces and have a look if it's going to be suitable for housing all of the STCs, there's not many, there's only four to go in. But if I put them all sort of to one side and try and conserve the space as best as possible, then we might be able to use this and expand it in the future to add more things to it. Maybe more fermenters? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, but I, I've got to figure out first how the whole thing comes apart. So there's lots and lots of bolts and screws and that kind of jazz in here and nuts. Um, but I don't quite know how the whole thing comes to pieces. So it's got this tactile touchpad on the front, which. Uh, Houses all the buttons. Ah, here we go. 
that looks like the, that's the boy so I've undone those bolts and then this is going to pry away fortunately for us on the back we've got like a steel steel sheet aha oh look at that it's got cork insulation on it is that cork or is that rubber I don't know let's zoom in and have a have a closer look because it's quite it's quite interesting I'll just reposition you slightly so you can see what's happening oh there we go there's the shot there's the shot so unfortunately this just packed up on me one afternoon um, and when I tried to investigate what had gone wrong because I had a feeling it was probably something like just as simple as a couple of resistors or a diode or something that's failed I accidentally touched the live with a screwdriver to something else in the panel and the whole thing just shorted out completely and we lost it Ian Fellows Limited Industrial Way Terminal anyway that's history now so that's what we end up with kinda looks good but we've got a little bit of a ways to go before that's sealed onto there so why don't I try to salvage this cork stroke rubber seal around the edge and we'll put that back on and uh, maybe we'll just be able to cut straight into into this metal plate for the STCs or maybe we'll be able to come up with another idea maybe we'll get another sticker printed for it we'll see but uh, yeah, I don't want to tear this taking it off so I'm just taking my time with it a little there we go so we'll stick this onto the existing sort of bolt terminals there we go that's on oh beautiful yeah well that works so if anything that will give us a moisture resistant seal for this metal plate against the front edge I could have just used a bit of silicon but you know we've got it so we may as well use it and then here we've got solid pieces of plastic some tabs yeah and of course where these cutouts are well we're not going to be able to lose that I don't think which is a shame so we may have to come up with an idea to kind of hide them on the front let's just put a few bolts in tighten it down and see if it looks the part I think the easiest thing for us to do will be to get a sheet of uh, maybe white perspex or something like that and put that over the top with the same holes as where the STCs want to be and then this kind of stuff won't matter too much well there we go I think that would actually work so we'll just stick the STCs in here where we want them like I say a bit of plastic just to cover these holes and uh, then maybe in the future if we're so inclined we can pop a sticker on there that's not important at the minute though and we've got the STCs they arrived really quickly there's a chap on eBay that I always use for these and I always go for the LTEC ones because you know what you get in so oh that's convenient look at that we might get away <laughs> we might get away with actually using what's here anyway this takes a little bit of figuring out I'm sure but I reckon we'll be able to use it I think we can fit all the STC's in here and all the relays on the back 
for doing all the switching instead of sticking it into one of those other boxes. We'll only need one 12 volt power supply then I would have thought, which is a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to go and carry on with the brew day. We'll come back to this uh, when I figured a little bit more out. Well, just a short one today then, folks. Brew's finished. I'm just topping up the HLT for the morning. We managed to get another tank on its back. I've started to put the cladding on. Insulation, should I say. So, all I need to do on this is just finish off with a little bit of foil tape. It's this stuff here. And that just kind of, uh, that runs on the seams. Tidies the seams up a little bit. So I'll probably put that on tomorrow when I get this all cut back. And uh, well, I'm going to have to wait a few days before I do another tank because I don't have any more of this insulation. I've got some on order, it's on its way. But uh, if I chop up and apply the last one that I've got, which is in the unit here, in the workshop, if we just shoot down the workshop and have a look. So it's there, look, underneath the tripod. The trouble is if I chop this up, or stick it on, should I say, I keep saying chop it up. If I stick this on, then I won't have a template to draw around for the other two, and it'll just save me getting all the measuring equipment out again if I just unravel some more insulation, stick this on top, draw around it, cut it out. Bingo, bango, easy job. So I'll save that till the rest of it arrives. Chance is wearing his colours in his hair. He's a little bit of a hippie today. But he is ready to go home, aren't you, buddy? He knows he's not daft, he's our chance. Come on then, buddy. Right, so I think we've just about got enough water in the HLT. There we go, we're past that point there. So we've got at least seven, uh, 550 litres in there. So we'll turn that off. We've got the recirculation pump on. So that's going round and round. And we'll come over here. We've got the HLT on, set to 77 degrees, HLT pump on, three phase on, all we need to do is set it to, that's off, and that's auto, and you can just see it there. So that will come on at seven o'clock in the morning, and it will kick on the pump, oh yeah, of course. Let's turn that back on a minute. I need to have the boil pump on the go, don't I? So let's close that. Otherwise I'll arrive and we won't have any cleaning done at all. There we go. So what I like to do is shut that and half cock that. Oh, we can close that. And then all of the cleaning fluid is forced in through the plate chiller into the spray ball. So now we've got that lot set up. Now we can press it to come on automatically in the morning. And when we arrive, we'll be ready for another brew day. So tomorrow we'll be doing another batch of the vacant. I've already got my hops weighed out. They'll be good overnight there. The grain is in the mash tun. And uh, I'm gonna shoot off home, folks. While we've still got some freaking daylight, it is a really nice end to the summer, actually. Not that I've been spending much time of it outside, but it's just nice to get home and uh, enjoy it a little bit. So we'll catch you on tomorrow's vlog. Another brew day, maybe a few more projects. Oh yeah, and before I go, look, I put the fly catcher thing up there instead of it being against the wall and it's out of the way. So any flies that die here, I'm gonna end up next to the tanks. Uh, so yeah, awesome little uh, extra job that I've done, which I forgot all about, which I've been meaning to do for a friggin' long time. Anyway, I'm signing out, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. We'll see you then.